In today's video, I'll be showing you how to connect a custom domain to your Google Firebase website. So to begin, go ahead and upload a website to your Google Firebase account. If you don't know how to do that, go ahead and watch my other video on how to do this. And once you're done with that video, you can just come back here and resume the steps. But once you're done with all those steps, you should see your project here. I'm going to use the same project that I did in my last uh, tutorial, and that will just be a tutorial example. Go ahead and click on it. And here you can see all the details about the website. Go ahead and click on hosting. And once you click on hosting, uh, you should see a slightly different page. But if you do see this page, go ahead and just click get started and then go to the third option and hit continue the console. And now you should see these first two domains that if you click on them, you'll be able to access your website. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on it just to show you. But this is like the example tutorial website I had earlier from my previous tutorial. But once you get to this step, go ahead and just click add custom domain. You should now see a input box. Go ahead and type in the custom domain that you want to add for your Firebase website. I'm going to just do Firebase 3. Dot, um, my domain, and then go ahead and click on continue. And once you get to this step, you have two different options. I would recommend just doing the quick setup. It's the easiest. So all you need to do is go to your DNS provider, go to DNS settings, and go ahead and uh, create this A record type. So to create a new custom record, go ahead and go to the DNS provider where you buy your domain from and go to the DNS settings. And on this page, you should see an option to create a new custom record. Go ahead and click on that button. And in the first input box, just type in the custom domain that you inputted earlier in this tutorial. And then in the second box, just make sure it says A. And in the TTO section, just leave it as a default value. And in the very last input, go ahead and copy and paste the value that Google Firebase provided and paste it inside the input. And then go ahead and click on save. And now after a couple hours, you should be able to go to the do custom domain that you just inputted and it should bring you to your website. Uh, if you found this video helpful in any way, please like the video and don't forget to subscribe.